Thank you for joining us today in this session of Sabbath School Today, a study of lesson number 12, The Call to Stand. There are two Bible texts that appear on the surface to be self-contradictory. One is what Jesus said in Matthew 11, 28 through 30. He said, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Now that's versus the other one where it's a rather stern command of our beloved Apostle Paul. He writes, be strong and stand in Ephesians chapter 6. And we would also include in that perhaps 1 Timothy 6 verse 12 that says, fight the good fight of faith. Jesus and Paul, they're really not at odds, surely. Can we conclude that this good fight is exactly what Jesus means when he says that his yoke is easy? The Lord's use, use of his word easy needs to be understood and appreciated. The word is not to be denied or disparaged because Jesus said it and he means it. And he was wise when he said it. Satan is constantly trying to convince us that becoming a true Christian is something only a few specially strong people can manage to do in order to stand. The truth is that there is not one strong person in this world. And the greatest heroes in the Bible were weak. Take King David, for instance. He fell flat before a woman's pornographic temptation. And take the Apostle Peter, who folded shamefully under a mild temptation from a mere girl and denied Jesus when he really counted. Jesus is rightly seeking to encourage ordinary people like you and me to believe that it is possible to follow him and enjoy companionship with him in fellowship of spirit. I understand that Marines who fight together in very hard battles become lifelong buddies and friends. Now, eternal happiness in the kingdom of God will be this never-to-be-forgotten fellowship with the Son of God in fighting battles of faith. The two of us, you and Jesus, me and Jesus, will always have a nodding wink between us that nobody else in the universe will understand because we have been like Marines fighting battles together with each other. Remember that white stone that Jesus is to give you in the judgment day? He has within it according to the Revelation, a new name written for you, which no one knows except him that receives it. And you keep that secret of your new name with Jesus forever. Revelation 2, verse 17. Can you imagine the whole universe wanting to pry into what you and Jesus have privately between the two of you? And this is because all because you have made the choice to believe and appreciate what Paul tells us is the privilege of wearing the whole armor of God in these battles that we face day to day. Here's what we read in Ephesians 6 verse 13. Therefore take up the whole armor of God. The armor is something we are told to take up. Now that means it's waiting for you to take it up. It's lying in your pathway where you can't miss it. It's like the Roman soldier's armor that has been lying by his side all night while he's been snatching a little needed rest. But in the morning, it's his first job to take up the whole armor and put it on. And Paul is very likely writing these words while he is looking out the window watching a Roman soldier at duty. Their job is not only to stand, but to withstand, for their very standing attracts the arrows of the enemy to try to force them to fall. So girding on the armor physically includes girding on the determination of soul to win this new battle today. And the war is being so fiercely fought that if the soldier doesn't make any progress forward that he can see today, if he simply stands where he is, that will be a victory. And sometimes standing still is progress. The commander will commend his soldier for simply having done all that it was possible to do. Think of our heavenly commander commending us likewise. In our spiritual struggles, 
we are sharing the brunt of the attacks together with our commander Jesus. Our battlefield is heavenly places, realms where spiritual battles are being fought. No one else, even in our personal family or among our classmates at school or our fellow workers in the workplace, may have an inkling of what struggles we are going through. But never mind, our commander Jesus knows. He has that glint in his eye and he sees you and he understands. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for the armor that you have given to us every day to take up and to put on. And we will stand and be victorious because of Jesus' grace. In his name we pray. Amen.